second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on DIY projects. In my previous video, we have already seen how to use the K-type thermocouple and the Max 6675 IC with the Arduino, read the room temperature and also to print the values on the serial monitor. So in this video, we'll be using the same sensor and making our own temperature controlled soldering machine. This is the first version of the project where we just digitally switch on and off the AC supply to the soldering machine. In the upcoming second version of the project, we'll be making an analog control where using the PID, we have to modify the AC power supplied to the soldering machine, which will be very precise. Starting with the first version of the project, we need this following components. As a main controller, I'll be using an Arduino Uno board. You can also go with Nano if you want to reduce the cost. To get the continuous temperature as a feedback, I'll be using this K-type thermocouple with Max 6675. To set the required temperature, we'll be using an encoder module. To get the information on the set and the measured temperature, I'll be using this LCD module along with I2C interface. To switch on and off the AC supply, we can use this 5 volts relay module. And to power all these components, we need 5 volts. So I'll be using this AC to DC converter, a breadboard and jumpers for easy connections. So I'll be using the same soldering machine which I already have which works on AC supply and at last we need a 3 pin socket and AC plug connector. Moving on to connections, first I'll be taking the 5 volt supply from AC to DC converter onto the breadboard. So to power the Arduino board, I'll be using the V in pin and the ground which goes to the same 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. In the temperature sensor, the VCC and ground goes to same 5 volt supply. And in the remaining pins, the serial clock SCK goes to Arduino Digital Pin 13. Chip select CS to pin 10. And serial output SO goes to Digital Pin 12. Moving on to the encoder, the VCC and ground goes to common 5 volt supply. DT pin to Arduino digital pin 3 and the clock pin to digital pin 2. From the LCD module, the VCC and ground goes to common 5 volt supply SDA pin to Arduino analog pin A4 and the SCL goes to Arduino analog pin A5 Coming to the relay module the VCC and ground to be connected to common 5 volt supply and the input trigger pin goes to digital pin 7. From the AC supply, one line directly goes to the 3 pin socket.
the other line will be controlled using the relay so here we have to use the normally open and the common terminal and for the ac to dc converter i'll give the supply from the same line available here at the end i'll mount this thermocouple onto the soldering machine and also arrange all of these components in a better way since it's a first version here i have placed all the components outside itself once we make with the second version and everything starts working fine i'll be using pcb and making it an compact version for daily usage so here with the encoder we can set the required temperature which we can see on this lcd and this is how i have connected the sensor on the soldering machine to the coding part here i'll be not going through line by line for all the components used in this project like encoder lcd relay module and temperature sensor we have made separate specific videos which helps you to understand the basics and also the interfacing so before watching this video i would recommend you to refer those videos from the description box so in this project understanding the logic flow is important so i have created this image just to show what's happening in the code so we we have two temperature values one is set temperature so we will be setting the required temperature using the encoder so this is one part and also we have the measured temperature so this we get by continuously measuring the temperature of the soldering iron which comes from the sensor so we'll use both of these temperature values for comparison so using the if condition we continuously check if the measured is less than the set temperature so in case where the measured temperature is less than the required which means we have to start heating the soldering iron so in this case we'll turn on the relay or the supply so other cases the measured temperature is more than the required temperature so here we need to allow the soldering iron to cool down so we will be switching off the supply so this is the simple flow how the code is written so i'll just show the code in brief so at the top we have the libraries lcd object and the required variables and pin declarations in the setup we are setting the pin modes and also some lcd init functions here i am also using interrupt to read the encoder inputs coming to the loop first i'll be printing the set temperature on the lcd module which is coming from the encoder position in the second row i'll be printing the measured temperature for which we'll be getting from the temperature sensor so these are the two temperatures 
and as I explained using if condition we'll be checking either measured is less or greater than the set so here accordingly we are switching on or off the relay which means the AC supply so this is the main logic in the loop now let's see how it works once I switch on on the display we get some message DIY solder digital control in first row we get the set temperature the value starts with 60 degrees Celsius so using this encoder at any time you can change the set temperature value so I'll set the value to 135 degrees Celsius and in the second row we get the measured temperature from the sensor so as we can see here the measured temperature is less than the value which we have set that's why the supply is on and the soldering machine is heating up so once the measured temperature reaches the set value the relay automatically switches off again the temperature starts decreasing and when we reach the value less than the set temperature the relay again switches on so this way the system tries to maintain the temperature according to the set value in this digital control we cannot maintain the accurate temperature as we can see here the temperature goes either more or less than the threshold and there is lot of deviation around the boundary value so the solution for this is to use the analog control along with the PID logic which will be doing it in the next second version stay tuned for that that's all for this video I hope we got something new to learn for code and circuit visit the link given in the description box for more such interesting project videos subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram thank you for watching I'll be back in the next video